Hi there, my name is Toby, and one of my most important discoveries in this training is this. I call it the neutral stance, and I discovered this by asking a question, and that is, what position would your body form if you were floating in space and you could achieve perfect relaxation? You need both these things. So I call this body efficiency training, and this is using the neutral stance for boxing. You see, this stance is very, very efficient. It's the most efficient position for your body, because it's the position your body would naturally spring back to. Your shoulders are up and back and your hips are back and your spine is in a neutral position, levering over slightly forward from the hips. So I'm not standing vertical, I am levering slightly forward, but I'm not bending the spine, I'm levering at the hip joint. And I'm also on the ball of the feet and the hands are loose fists. They're like halfway between stretched and closed, so they're, they're half claw positions, half fist position. Now, I'm using this stance to move around left and right to create boxing movements. It's not really the extension of the arm I'm worried about. I'm trying to feel it from the core. You see, this position is very, very efficient. I'm feeling the spine, holding the spine, and just simply twisting left and right, but pulsing from the hips and pulsing from the shoulders. And I'm trying to maintain as close to this neutral position as possible. Now, this is the full neutral stance where I'm levering forward, but there is also the upright neutral stance where your back is vertical. And that's a bit more like the old old-fashioned Queensbury rules boxing or traditional martial arts Tai Chi you'll have a vertical spine but this is more like modern boxing I'm hunched I'm not hunched I'm levering slightly forward if I were hunching you'd see a curl in my spine but look the shoulders are up and back this is very interesting you see we might think we've got to pull our shoulders forward for punching but you see I'm not worried about the punch I'm trying to start the beginning of the movement I'm trying to find the power in the alignment of the body so the punch is I'm just working on the very beginning of the punch. See, the beginning of the punch is coming from the core and the spine, and it's just from this little twist left and right. And if I leave the link as well to my playlist on my basic exercises, but you will see the basic exercises are very much to do with just holding a vertical spine and twisting left and right. Now, this is not a vertical spine, it's slightly levered forward, but it's still the same spinal alignment. If my spine is vertical, then it would be the same. I'll just pivot on a vertical line. Here my spine is levering forward so I'm pivoting on an angle. I'm pivoting my spine on a forward angle. You see it's halfway from dropping down low for wrestling and standing up straight for boxing and kicking. So it's a very useful stance for MMA, mixed martial arts. It's between the two, wrestling and boxing. We need both. So really what I'm doing is focusing on this neutral stance. I'm not worried about the extension of my hands or legs. I'm trying to feel as close to the neutral stance as possible. You see when you actually punch you're moving quite far away from it and I'm just practicing holding the power from the core holding the power in this structure and always trying to spring sp straight back to this basic neutral stance structure because it's very efficient from here it's highly mobile I can move in all directions and that is another definition of the neutral stance it is the midpoint of all movement by definition from here I can move in any direction evenly and the only difference in this training to make it boxing is one foot goes forward so I put a slight twist so that I have one foot forward and one foot behind. The actual neutral stance, of course, is even. It's square, square on. But even wrestlers will have a square on stance, so that is still very, very useful. Okay, I hope you found this interesting. Check out these other videos here, and in particular how I build the neutral stance. There is a logic and a science to it, so please do check that out. Okay, thanks for watching. See you again next time.